Okay, just thought I'd do another video. Um, I've had some uh, deliveries um, to enhance my loop ever growing, loop best bin collection, and uh, I just thought I'd go through them with you. Quite excited by the um, by this of these arrivals. Uh, these are two overstock uh, Lily Leddy um, boots at uh, legs. With um, this is what's used to do with the boots and um, they put test bit on them so I got first of all I got the uh, the red it's like a red paint on these um, quite striking just makes for a different uh, different variant to the uh, to the colors and also quite a fetching pink um, so these came from a collector in Mexico and uh, you got quite a haulage Found a, I don't know how much he's found to be honest with you, but um, he, he's kind enough to let me, uh, well not let me, uh, sold me uh, these two editions. So yeah, really nice. Um, I've already got the unpainted leather overstock. Uh, as you can see, the pink there contrast to the to the unpainted, and of course the red. The red boot so yeah look really good uh, really good um, piece of lily leddy history there um, so that's those and I also acquired um, a pair of unpainted arms so you do find overstock um, quite commonly painted but uh, these were unpainted so I was delighted to get those and given I've also got the overstock head unpainted you guessed it I just need to get a torso so if I can get an unpainted torso then I have my uh, very own Luke Bespin unpainted little Eddie overstock figure uh, but that is easier said than done because I think in all the time I've been collecting certainly Luke Bespin which is um, th over three four years um, I've yet to see, well I've actually seen two uh, unpainted torsos, um, which one was part of a figure. Um, I also, breaking the norm, I got a Luke Jedi um, overstock head as well, which is quite striking I think, it's really nice. I've been after one for a while, uh, from the same seller, so you can go there. And um, that was just my other overstock head that was obviously with the painted eyes which was the next stage after the, obviously the first stage and just to show you that's the uh, the brown hair in completion so you've got the three different stages there um, of production the eyes and then the hair um, but as I say these were test painted so yeah really pleased with those uh, going on to a magazine uh, that I picked up on eBay um, I'm trying to make a backdrop for my my Luke Bespin run um, in in the cabinet. Um, I was going to use card backs, but I just feel as though they're going to be hidden, and I really want to display the card backs in in other ways. So what I'm trying to do is just get pictures of Luke Bespin. Um, this was a really, really good picture. Um, one of the promotional shots, which was done, um, and I just feel as though you know that that was too good to turn down. So what I'll do is I'll put that as part of the backdrop. It's actually a really uh, good magazine. Um, US, um, I'm guessing it's us. The Good Guys of Star Wars. 77 cents, July 22, 1980. Um, so yeah, it's, um, there's all sorts. It's not just Star Wars related. Um, but yeah, the, the cover was the middle of Chevy Chase. Um, but yeah, the cover was the reason I got it. So that'll be a really, uh, really nice image for the for the cabinet to put on the back. And then onto my cards. Um, I've already got uh, a good number already of Luke Bespin cards. So I've been collecting card backs for the last few months. Um, this was the real edition, which I'm, I'm delighted with. Um, it's in great condition as well. This is the French Meccano card back. Um, which, uh, as you can see there, oh, I've got a bit of a flash on there, but uh, you can see quite clearly it's French. Um, 
my French isn't the best, so I'm not even going to recite it into English. But yeah, that's one I've really been wanting to to get. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, and that'll go pride of place in my collection. Um, I also added a couple more um, ESP kind of card back. Um, still just about uh, tagged there. Um, um, sorry, punched. And uh, yeah, so that was a nice addition. Um, this one had the name cut out, but very difficult to to find um, the uh, the Admiral Akbar offer. So that was also a welcome addition. Um, that's also a Kenner. And finally, a Palatoy. Um, I did have one of these already, but I've just upgraded it. Um, and that's the Palatoy ESB. Uh, bounty hunter offer and uh, 45 back so that's a, a really nice one as well one of my favorite card backs that actually um, so as I say all the different cards the same pose on these um, but different cards there is actually a difference in color between the Meccano and the Kenner you can see quite clearly there it's a much lighter shade probably more like the original color um, I've always called it mauve his um his suit um but as you can see it's much much lighter um just different prints i guess um so that's another four to add to the wall i've got 12 now so yeah looking desperately for a lily leddy card back of luke bespin but it'll come you just have to be patient so so yeah that's my latest uh, that's this week's deliveries uh all luke bespin with the exception of this luke jedi head um and yeah um Please, uh, please give us a like and uh, a subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, and I will, uh, I'll be adding more very soon. Thanks for watching.